Hello, this is Tom from Never Center again with a second video about the new features coming in Pixelmash 1.1.00, which is a huge animation update um, for Pixelmash, where um, we've reworked kind of the entire animation system to make sure that we have a solid foundation going forward as we expand Pixelmash. Um, I'll just review really quickly what I showed in the first video, which was um, the, the new keyframe based animation system and also the per frame images. So with the, uh, the keyframe based, uh, let me just draw like a, call this layer red ball. Let me just put some quick effects on it, like auto shade and uh, outline. Make my ball a little bit more round. Um, so uh, we've got keyframes now where if I add several frames to this and then I do a transform keyframe here, um, we'll do a few more frames and do another transform keyframe here. It'll automatically add a transform keyframe if I move it. So now it's interpolating between those frames so you can see this ball can bounce down and bounce up. Um, let me remove some of these keyframes actually. And then the per frame images, let's draw this frame in red. I'm going to make a new frame. We'll call this numbers. So for this one, um, if I check this image keyframe all, I can just start painting and it will basically uh, keep track of my uh, images per frame so that I can, there was, in order to do per frame images in, in uh, pixel match before it was kind of a pain. But now this one you can see, I just click that check mark and it will let me draw a new frame on each, a new image on each frame. I can even do things like still um, copy that layer and then paste the layer effects onto this new uh, per frame images uh, animated layer and it still does that nice automatic outline and automatic shading per, um, per frame dynamically. So, um, uh, and then we had this, of course, this little preview window that I'd shown um, with the different options to draw to different resolutions, and you can show that while you're working. So that's what I showed before. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now I'll sh just show a few more of the things that we've added. One um, that you may notice is now on these layers, as I add each layer, it shows what the underlying resolution is. So if I toggle this onto high res mode, where it turns off the layer effects and the pixelization, you can see that each of these layers are um, 320 by 320 pixels, whereas this project is pixelized to 64 by 64. And so when I toggle on the pixelization, that's when it happens. And um, when I say transform a layer, you can see it's not retaining its per pixel perfectness because it's dynamically uh, pixelizing it as I move things around, which makes it so you can do nice you know, transforms where I can change the scale of things and um, rotate them and it will still look nice when it's dynamically pixelized. Um, but often you'll want things to keep their pixel perfectness. And so we added this button to add a pixel, a layer at the current pixelized resolution. So when I click that, you can see now it's added a layer that's natively 64 by 64. And you could do this before from the edit menu up here but we added it down here and added these labels so that it'd be easier to, uh, to access and just to see what's going on and sort of keep track. So let me just paint in this new layer. Let's go with some blue. Um, we'll do some straight lines like that. And then let's add these same layer effects by copying and pasting. Um, so now you can see with this new layer, let's call this uh, pixely, um, with its animation, let's uh, start it down here and let's just make it go maybe a few frames over to the right. And you can see, when I turn off the grid here, that it's retaining its pixel perfectness at each frame because its native resolution is the pixelized resolution of the project. Um, and when I play the animation window, you can see that. You can do it at one times, let's do it full. But you can see how powerful this is to be able to mix and match these things. And we just made it um, sort of easier and more obvious 
that you can do that in Pixel Mesh. So you can work at pixel perfect resolution. You can do frame by frame animations on those layers too, and uh, do some really neat things by combining those. Um, with uh, let me just show you another thing with that, which is that with um, with these high res layers, we had these functions before to be able to bake the the resolution so that it will convert either a layer or the whole project down from these high res ones to this low res pixelized uh, resolution. And before when you would do that, it would basically kill the animation because we didn't have support for per frame images built into that. But now let's uh, with this red ball layer, let's let's bake this one so you can see. With these layer transforms I'm I'm doing, it's it's uh, transforming this high res layer at each frame. If I come here and go to uh, let's bake the resolution and the effects. So if I bake that down, now that layer has become a 64 by 64 layer, and its animation is all based on images per frame. So for example, if I go in and erase some of this, you can see that that's actually erasing these these uh, pixels and it doesn't affect the next frame and so I can come in basically what you can do is you can start with a high-res animation that's based on transforms and then bake it down and then do your own um, I'm undoing that you can do your own per frame tweaks on this so maybe I want to paint and like um, adjust these uh, pixels here to be and I just pick those up with my color picker Maybe I want to make this a little bit more round or whatever. Um, and that lets you do some neat kind of per pixel stuff uh, even after you've started with a, a higher resolution thing. So um, all those baking options now uh, do that and let you retain your animations and uh, do really powerful stuff with that. Uh, the last thing I'll just show, and I had mentioned a little bit in the other video, was the onion skin stuff. Um, turn on onion skin uh, we've got options now that we didn't have before to be able to uh, tell it to recolor it so when I've got onion skin colorized it's drawing all the before frames in green and the after frames in red so you can see that's applying both to this this one that was based on transforms well it's not anymore and uh, this other layer um, but you can also tell it to how many frames before you want it to draw whether it's one or two and how many frames after. Um, so if you only want before frames or only want one before frame or two, um, then you can do that with that, those options from the onion skin menu. Anyway, this uh, beta is just about ready. For, we'll probably do a public beta with this. Um, so stay tuned. Um, sign up for our newsletter at neverscenter.com slash pixelmash to get an invite to that and uh, you can test out these features before it's fully released and then we'll get it out as soon as possible. And we look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks a lot.